Hey everyone. So how have you guys been? It's been a couple weeks, you know. Uh, you know, how are the kids? How's the wife or slash husband? I started watching Grey's Anatomy recently. I kind of understand the hype and, uh, you know, nothing much has happened. Oh yeah, you know, besides this suit standing right next to me. So today we're going to be taking a look uh, at just a little update on what's been happening with my custom suit. So if you're looking at this right now, you probably think, wow, it's all sewn up. It's almost done, but it's not really. Uh, basically, I had a problem on, I think it was Friday, where I was finishing up the sewing of the suit. I had just sewn in the last zipper of it, and then when I tried to put it on, the zipper broke. So I just finished my suit. I'm doing a test fit right now, and the zipper broke. So I'm currently stuck in this suit. So the zipper on the right side ended up breaking. It kind of got caught and it just wouldn't budge so I have to sew in a new one and also lose some weight apparently. I think I've gained too much weight in quarantine. So I need to sew in a new zipper. I'm going to try a different zipper method. I'm going to try the three, one, the three zipper method that I did for my far from home. Uh, instead of just the two uh, U-shaped zippers and zipper method, but then and also I need to fix some things because some seams broke as I was trying to put it on and take it off because I didn't because I just did a single stitch and if you've worked with spandex you know that a single stitch is not enough to hold spandex together. But yeah, I have to say the suit is looking good. It's just little things that I need to fix uh, and finish up sewing. The mask itself is done. Oh god. It's just I need to finish finishing it off, if that made sense. So I'm actually going to take the camera off the tripod and give you guys a better look at the suit itself. So here is the suit, partially sewn. I'm really loving the red and then the blue and then the black here. It just makes a nice kind of color kind of thing. For anyone wondering, this pattern was made by Scratch Threads. This is their homecoming pattern that I have modified to, you know, fit my design of my Spider-Man. So we can see here that it kind of has the similar shape of the homecoming suit um, design-wise. I just replaced a lot of the red with the black. So I got the red fabric from Spandex World. This is their clear dot spandex. You can kind of see the clear dots on there. And then this black spandex pleather fabric I got from Joann's. This is their uh, Yaya Han cosplay uh, line. It's like a nice pleather kind of spandex fabric that's a four-way stretch. It works really well. And then of course, if you see my last video, you know the blue is from Aaron Alexandro. Uh, this is his homecoming screen texture fabric and it just works wonders. I'm really loving the design so far. I really, what I really love is the glove design I did. This glove design was actually inspired by Spider Matt, uh, Spider Matt and Matthew DC's kind of take on a Spider-Man suit. I loved the little, or I loved the little uh, piece they did here and then like the fingers of the red so I did that but with the black pleather fabric and you can see here I sewed in an invisible zipper so I can get in and out of it and you know it, it looks great okay and then here are the boots I guess um, they don't have a bottom because I chose not to sew it in there just so it, it's a little easier on me when I add in the shoes that's another thing I have to finish off and you know the bands on this one are mostly just the black bands that come on the homecoming suit without the red top. Okay now let's take a look on the back of it. So obviously I still need to sew up the neck. That's one of the things I have to finish off. And you know the back is like kind of just normal uh, what the homecoming suit is. Here's a better look at the blue uh, screen printed fabric. And here are some parts where like the seams ripped because I didn't sew it in. I didn't finish it off well when I was trying to put it on. And I think also, yeah, here is another part. See, this right side of the zipper broke as I was trying to put it on. Uh, I just put in a regular U-shaped zipper. And I guess that was a mistake of mine because it made the suit 
too tight. So, so now what I have to do is go in with the seam ripper, rip all the, the stitches I have in here for the U-shaped zipper, and then when my like regular jacket separating zipper comes in, line the bottom with the uh, separating zipper and then add two new invisible zippers on the sides. So, here's just a better look of it. It's looking really nice, guys. I'm really excited about this. So now that the suit is almost done, it's right now I would say it's about 70% done. I just need to add the logo I've designed, the, the front spider and the back spider, and then I just need to add the shoes. And then really, uh, after I finish off sewing everything, this suit is done. Hoping the finished suit video will be out October 5th. If not, I will upload something different. But yeah, till then, the plan is to have the suit done in about a week from now and, you know, upload a video about it so I can get on to, like, you know, the next thing that's on this channel. But yeah, you guys, that is it for this video. It was just a little update on, you know, what this suit is looking like because it's looking pretty good. Here's another view of the nice shininess of it and, like, the beautiful blue, the beautiful red, the beautiful black. You know, it's. It's just looking perfect right now, so what else can I say? But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, me updating you guys a little bit on the suit. And yeah, like I said, hopefully next week will be it finished, finally. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.